What's up everyone and welcome back to another Skate 3 video and today we're going to be doing some more Skate 3 challenges. So we, our first challenge comes from beep underscore boy and it says here's a Skate 3 challenge and please do this on easy and also shout me out on Instagram at beep underscore boy. Please do this on easy. That's, that's, that's so weird to ask. I'll do it on easy though. So that's actually pretty awesome. I don't think I've done that rail that way before. I don't know if I can do that exact trick, but I will at least try to do like a front flip into a dark slide on it. So maybe we should start off on the factory roofs and try to find out where to go from there. So I'm just scouting the area. Is it, okay, it's over there. I wonder if I can gap from here over to that next little roof. I'm gonna try it. It shouldn't be that hard, but I'm gonna try it. See how hard this is? not very hard at all well at least i tried it at least i know how difficult it is now so the rails down there and i guess just a front flip dark slide where's a good place to start so let's just try to do a regular grind first maybe if i can get into a crook i can't even see the rail oh wow okay so i can't see anything and maybe i should change my camera angle so i can actually see but i want to do it this way into the rail hey okay I actually landed on the rail but it didn't want to grind so that might be a problem because he definitely doesn't want to grind it's probably a good thing I'm trying this on easy oh we locked into a tail slide right there but uh yeah well obviously we didn't lock into it because we didn't roll away with it there we go that was nice that was pretty smooth All right, so let's try to do the front flip. Maybe even the Miracle Whip like they did. Oh, that's gonna be a little difficult. How do they Miracle Whip so quick? And then hover. Okay, I see, I see. So we're gonna do it that way. Miracle Whip to Dark Slide. And maybe I should add like a flip trick in the beginning like they did. Okay, well then. So this is still pretty difficult. I should land into the Dark Slide, but for some reason it just doesn't want me to grind it like that. Okay, this is gonna be a little difficult. Oh, <laughs> we're right through the rail. Let's see what happened there. Yep, right through the rail. Oh, impaled my dude. Ooh, ooh, baby, I didn't wanna do that, but it still looked pretty nice. Oh. Ah, man, ah, I didn't flip out in time. <laughs> I got sort of excited by actually getting into it. And I forgot to flip out on time. Oh, ah, man, so close once again. Please, please, dude, just please land it. Oh, uh, <laughs> That wasn't as smooth as what I wanted, but nice. Oh, yes, finally, I got it. Nice. So thanks, Beat Boy. That was actually pretty challenging. I didn't realize how hard that was actually gonna be, and I really enjoyed that challenge. And I wish I could find a way to one-up it, but I really don't have any idea how I could one-up that. It's already awesome enough, but I do appreciate the challenge. So our next challenge comes from Brain Drain Head one Been watching you for years. I'm sure you can get these gaps first try, but can you get the first without a landing ramp? How long do you think I've been on YouTube, been watching me for years? Yeah, I believe it's almost two years now, but if you've been watching me for years, you must be an OG. Let's go ahead and check out your challenge. So it appears they have two challenges. The first one looks like it's at second and Navy, so let's go ahead and hit that spot up first. And he just wants us to land it 
without the landing ramp. I don't know if it's possible, but I will try it. So we need to get up to right there. Uh, I really don't know if this is going to be possible. The impact might be too much, but we're going to try it out anyways. And maybe we can come up with something without the landing ramp. All right, well, we made it up there. I thought I was gonna have to go back and try that again. Um, the spot is right over here. Let's hop over these pipes. I don't know if this is gonna work, dude. What we're gonna do is just try to right, roll off first and see if the impact is gonna be too much. Yes, the impact is too much. So I'm not really sure what to do. I don't know what they will accept <laughs> as you know landing without the landing ramp. What if I can make it all the way to this little curve thing right here. Would you count that if I made it to the curve thing? Because it's still without the landing ramp. But maybe I can still land into this. Hopefully I can make it onto there. This is going to take a little bit. A little practice, I think. Now, we got pretty close. Let's try, let's try this. Oh, man. I landed right there on it. But I clipped, I think. So it's obviously not going to count because of that. I feel like if I could just get a little more speed, or maybe just a little more pop, I can make it out there. And I still don't even know if this is possible if I land into it or not. Look how far I made it. But I didn't even land on the thing I want to land on. I'm landing too far to the left. Ah, uh, man. I landed right on it, it looks like. Let's look at the replay and see what happened. Hopefully this will tell me if I can actually land it or not. Well, I don't know because he clipped. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's possible. I've been trying this for a while and it just doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to try something else. Maybe I can wall ride into uh, this little this little fence right here, this little rail. Maybe I can wall ride it and land it. I don't know if you count that. Or maybe I can wall ride it and land on the other side. I, I want to try that. Maybe I can actually get into it. I keep on tapping the rail though. But I want to land this. I definitely want to land this some way, somehow. Because it looks like no matter where I drop from, it's not going to work. I can't even land on the rail. It says it's a drop of 45 feet. So I don't know. 41 foot. <laughs> maybe I came closer that time. So I'm just trying to land on the rail. I'm hoping the rail will stop me from falling. I sort of want to tap it. Oh, yes. Yes. Just like that. I think that's as possible as I'm going to be able to make it. Honestly, I really feel like that's as possible as I'm going to be able to make it. So I think that's probably as good as I'm going to be able to get it. I could try to skate off of it and land it, but it seems to be a little more difficult. I did try it just trying to skate off of it and land it, but it's, it's harder to do than actually just walking off and being able to aim for the rail. But I think what I'll do is I'll try this later when I have more time because it already took long enough trying to figure this out and I need to move on to the next challenge because he wants two challenges instead of one we got a two for one special so his next challenge is at the quarry let's try to find out exactly where he started and just try to make that gap so i believe it's right here let's go ahead and get a running start and see where he's launching off to down there okay yeah i think we can get that we just need to actually aim for the ramp and i need to find out exactly where to come out at maybe right there maybe i don't know maybe about right here okay 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 nice and i crashed right after i landed so i think i want to try to do like a nolly inward hill if i can get it okay yeah nolly inward hill it is oh nolly inward hill that looked really really nice <laughs> All right, so maybe something fakey. Let's try to do fakey big spin. Okay, fakey big spin it is. Oh, this might, yes, that one looked nice. And 
And then for the last trick, let's just try a ghetto bird. Ghetto bird should work pretty nicely on it. If I could just do a regular nolly hard flip. Nice. That was pretty smooth. So thanks brain drain head for the challenges. Hopefully I did that first challenge the way that you wanted me to, or at least something that you would count. So our next challenge comes from Randy T and says, hello, Mr. Ghost. I have a fun and unique skate three challenge for you. Turn the L town arch into a loop. Love your channel. And I have more challenges on the way. And he sends some photos to show us exactly what they want. So I've never thought about doing that. I've never thought about turning that into a loop. That is pretty unique. And I definitely want to do that. So I believe it's right around this little alleyway. Let's go ahead and go into so here. You gotta this, find something to hit. <laughs> this place looks so sick to skate. You gotta find something to hit. I think this is where they have it at. So I'm gonna try to find my starting point first and then set up the ramps and everything and then try to do this. This is gonna be pretty awesome. I think I wanna get on top of these buildings so let's yeah let's get on top of the buildings first we'll set up a speed ramp down here because i feel like i'm going to need quite a bit of speed and then we'll do it that way i'm just going to try to use the manual pad glitch to get up to the top will you move lady thank you all right let's use the manual pad glitch and hopefully that will bring us up to the top maybe not oh wow not even close but i noticed that there's some steps over here on the side so maybe we can get up on top of those steps and then try it or at least make it to the top. All right, so here's the steps. Is it going less? A hey, okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's try to get up the steps this way. So far, so good. It seems like it's working. Okay, I wonder if we could set a marker right here. Oh, oh no, oh no. The steps disappeared right there. We're just going to try to make it to the top. And this is as far as it's going to let me go. But maybe I can get up a little bit higher. Maybe if I set up some dominoes, I can still use the, like the manual pad type glitch and get up to the top of this roof. All right, we'll stack them up like that and hopefully this will put us to the top. Well, what do you know? That worked. <laughs> and now I need to get up to the top of that building and then I'll set my ramp and try this. Now I think I'll actually use the launch glitch for this. So let's go ahead and set up our ramp. Oh, that's, that's too far. <laughs> I didn't want that one. I probably couldn't do that if I needed it, but it worked that time. Oh man, right there at it. Come on. All right, hopefully I placed my marker on top. Yes, I did. Okay, now let's go into the object dropper and get rid of all this. Reset all props, there we go. All right, now let's find out our drop point. Mm, yeah, that's not a good drop point. Let's try to walk off right here. And maybe we can make this work. Okay, let's try this. All right, so it's not the best in the world, but hopefully we can make it work. Let's just add that to our marker. Not like it matters because I still got to set up these other ramps. So I think I'll use a medium ramp for this. I think I'll place it right there. And then I'll place another one on the other side. But I need to roll into it smoothly. So we're going to place it like this. And hopefully we can make that work. We're going to push this up against the wall right here. Man, I hope that speed ramp is good enough. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting it close. And we'll put this one right around here. I can't grab it from the side, so I'm going to have to put it like right there. And hopefully that will work. Is it up against the thing? It looks like it. Put this right here. Add everything to our marker. And hopefully the speed ramp will be good enough. And let's go ahead and try this. I feel like that speed ramp is going to be a pain. Oh yeah, it might be a pain. It's just trying to make it into that. Okay, okay. It looks like it wants to work. Now we just got to be able to roll away from it. Oh, nice. So maybe if I lean back on the board, I won't crash directly into the ramp like that. Okay, nice, nice. Now what's going to happen if we get a lot of speed? Uh, I have yet to figure that out. Oh, oh, that was awesome. I want to look at this. I want to make sure all my wheels, all four wheels are on 
where I need them to be. Um, it looks like the back wheels are coming up. I don't like that at all. Maybe some more speed will help us. So we're going to need more speed than that. But I definitely want to have all four wheels on it and then try to roll away. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> does that count? I was wanting to come out from the other side, not that side. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see if all four wheels are onto it because if the four wheels aren't onto it, I wasn't going to count it anyways. All right, all right. It looks like all four wheels are staying on it except for, I don't know, right there at the end. Let's take a another look at that. Uh, it comes up, but I don't know if it's just because of the ridges in the loop or not. And it looks like we can actually roll away with it. So that is pretty awesome. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. But I want to come out the other side. Not instead of the side I came in on. Oh, nice. That was pretty smooth. Hopefully, all four wheels were on the ground that time. And it looks like they were. I mean, other than like hopping over those ridges, but it looks like all four wheels managed to stay on it pretty much the whole time. And I think that's probably as close as I'm going to get, as smooth as I'm going to get anyways. That turned out to be really nice. So let's get a closer look at it just to make sure. It looks like the wheels stayed on it for most of the time. So yeah, I think I'll count that. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Do you think I could do it better or not? I think it come out pretty well. So thanks Randy for the challenge. It was pretty awesome. Like I said, I never thought about doing this, but I think it came out really good. So thanks for the challenge. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.